thing. I got to do it for my no, followers. I, I, I will be I completely don't. cordial. I just have some questions that I want to ask That's regarding. Funny, and I apologize for the line cutting. I understand. I was just being facetious because I was referring to the immigration status. I like to always use that as an example of rules, you know. So I was going to ask you, can I? I'm confused as to why you feel we should be notifying people that ICE is coming to our cities. And I wanted to know if you felt that that was something that actually made our city safer, or if you felt that that benefited the, you know, the citizens or the constituents here in the state of California, as well as the city of Oakland. So uh, I respect that there are a variety of opinions, and that um, is something that is wonderful about America, that we can disagree and, and have good party debate. Right. Um, I did what I did because I did think it was in the interest of my city. I think it was consistent with the majority of the values of my city. And all I was doing was informing people of their legal rights, their legal responsibilities, and the resources in the community. And so that was my intention, was just to put information out there. Do you feel that you endangered any of the federal officials that potentially were coming? And I do not feel that I endangered any law enforcement officials. That was very, absolutely not so, part of my intention. And because, um, you know, first of all, the, the fact that, first of all, ICE is in our community all the time. Okay. Secondly, the fact that there was a large-scale operation planned had been in the newspaper weeks earlier. Right. It was not a big surprise. Right. Uh, I did not provide any specific locations, anything that could have actually um, endangered a lot gotcha. of Got you. Okay. Uh, okay. And I was very careful and intentional about that. Okay. So, again, my intention was simply to inform people about their rights, their responsibilities, and the resources. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I mean, there are new laws that just took effect in California in January. A lot of business um, owners are not aware of those, so it's, I think, important to make people aware of what these new laws were. Um, Is that in reference to the sanctuary city rules and things like that? The state rules, the new state, um, the state legislation. So I was, I was kind of confused because I thought I heard Jerry Brown the other day say that we're no law, we're not a sanctuary state. So when he gave that speech, it was kind of. I didn't. I think, I think most people would say we're a sanctuary state. Right, but I he didn't came hear, out. I didn't hear that speech. It like, was in reference to Jeff Sessions coming uh, last week when he came to Sacramento and he confronted and gave the speech that he was going to be suing California for their illegal immigration practices. And Jerry Brown came out and said, "We are not a sanctuary state." That's what was confusing to me, is because when the attorney generals here calling you guys out on the laws that are actually in place. Um, you really can't use rhetoric to escape the things that are written. So are we passing laws that are going to make the things that you're trying to go through action? Because that's what I've been saying. If we're going to do these things where we're inviting certain groups of people, there needs to be laws. So we need to have these things brought to a vote. I mean, is this something that's going to be brought to a vote for the citizens to decide? I mean, how is this sanctuary state decided? How does this come about? So the democratically elected representatives that sit in our state legislature took a vote okay. on a matter that was within their jurisdiction okay. to decide. Gotcha. There are certain things that have to go to voters. Right. This is something that was within the legal purview of the legislature okay. to decide. And these are democratically elected representatives. Right. And so they did take that vote. These laws were duly, you know, right. passed. Right. Um, and obviously they can be changed um, through the processes that exist. And they are going to be uh, examined through the court system. Um, that's certainly what Jeff Sessions did. Right. Again, that's their right, right. to right. bring the question up through the courts. Okay. Um, I feel very confident that what Oakland has done, yeah. what I personally have done, and what the state of California has done is absolutely within our legal rights. Okay. Uh, the Tenth Amendment balances uh, the powers of the federal government and the state government. This is where I've been really confused because I agree with you, and that's where I was kind of at a hard one because it's like the state has the right to do it. But then my issue is when they come in, the immigrants aren't staying put in California. So like it would be one of those things where if you want to make them all immigrants that can come here legally, they can stay in California. But then they can just go to Nevada or any other state once they become citizens, right? So that's why I look at it as more of a larger issue than just within a state because they're not staying put. They're spreading themselves across the nation 
you know? So that's, I, sorry, we have you're good, you're good. But She's I, been awesome. Yeah, I do hope people are looking at some of the facts and asking good questions. Can you about give me a website? I mean, I've got some viewers. I'll gladly send anyone to a website you could refer me to. The shows where we can look up state laws, sanctuary laws, ways they. Well, I, I know. Um, <laughs> I, I can give you, um, like, there's a good article that just explains the new responsibilities for business owners. You mean how they can't call ICE and stuff like that? Correct. Isn't that... I, I don't know if it's that they can't call ICE. Um, I forget, I don't remember that specifically. Well, they have to have a that. warrant to it, come onto a work site exactly. and all that stuff. Exactly. I've been trying to read and up. Notifications right. about if they're asking for employee records. Right. Things like that. Right. Um, again, not superseding federal law, but carving out within the state law what um, what we can mandate that does not directly conflict with federal law. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. you. Thank you for being patient. Thank you. I'm from Sacramento. Thank I drove down here to patient. see you. I all made right. sure to come down because it was an opportunity. I've seen you all over the news. I wanted to ask you some questions. They just, you know, you're only 100 miles away, so I figured everyone that you've let go has been coming to SAC, so I thought I'd have to come up here and at least ask. But. I encourage you to keep looking at, at facts and data. I will. And That's why I asked for the website, so I will. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Just give Sam your email address to cool. the exit survey. And yeah.